Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Lupe with Love. My name is Lupe. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be showing all my crochet uh, tops that I have. Because some of you ask me that they want to see all of them. I have more, but some of them I already sold them. So I'm just going to show you what I have. So let's begin. randomly like any order or something I'm just gonna show you for example uh, this one this is one of my first ones you can tell because it's just a granny square and then just attach on the side this is one of my first ones I believe so let's try it attach on the side something like that nothing prices just a granny squares I think this is one of my first ones because it was pretty easy to make though. I got an espresso shot. This sweater, this is a wavy sweater. I think I made this one last year. This one is a, not a heavy though, but it's, it's comfy, we'll say. Oh my god. So this one is two colors, and then I use an extra color for the for the wrist and the bottom over here. I just attached the flowers just like with a knot on the back and it was pretty easy. This is, so this one is made four pieces. One, two, and then three and four. It's just like a rectangle pieces and then just sew them together over here. And this is pretty warm, eh? Then I have this one. This is one of my first uh, crochet thing as well as the granny square. I usually, when I made them, I made them on my side. Yeah, you can tell it's my side though. This is two pieces. And it's pretty good, I think, for, for to be one of my first. Then I have another granny square. This is the granny square. And then I use add some um, rows on the side just to sew them together and I think this is a vintage flower this one yeah see it's pretty secret square it's pretty chunky this one then I have this one is my demure I think this is one of my favorite ones and you can see it's kind of the same color as this one I use this one as as measure for to make this one this is pretty pretty the mirror. This one is two pieces, one on the front, one on the back. And I have a hard time figuring out how to make the leathers. I've tried with my Cricut and then you know like the iron vinyl that you just put it here. But it didn't work so what I did is just um, single crochets just on the top. You can tell at the bottom is it's like each stitch, just like single crochet. Try to make each leather and just two pieces double crochet then I have this is one of my first vests I think I used two type of yarn cotton and a baby baby something else and I haven't posted this one yet this is one of my first vests with a B cut shape because usually I like just like a square I feel like it's easy for me to work but I you know I try something different and I think it worked out pretty well though, just on the sleeve. I don't like it, it's like a little baggy. I don't know if you can you can see it. I mean, I can because I made it, so. It's so bothering me a little bit. I would like to more like, more like that. But it's not bad. Granny Square. I really like this one, the colors, how they look together, but it's just two pieces and attached to the side. Something like this, it looks like this on the side. Usually when I wear this one, I wear it with a, like a long sleeve and a turtleneck, so more like cozy. I can wear this one on the street like that, but I feel a little bit naked, so I don't wear it like this. But if I'm at home, yeah, why not, you know, just, just feel you, feel comfy. And then another granny square, oh my god. I just start with all granny squares, because I think it's easy to work. Um, and the same if I wear this one I wear it with, with something else not just like this uh, this one is pretty simple I like this one for Christmas I think the color reminds me to Christmas 
I wear it with something else because I think this one is pretty short. Like it's just one thing on the side, so it's not two. So it doesn't feel that safe to wear, but it's not bad. I use the same technique, the same as this one. It's like a vintage flower, and then you work from the middle to the side. And I pre I really like this one, the color and the combo and how it fit. This is one of my second, I will say my second favorite, and I made this one when I was away. Usually when I'm away, I like to make something to wear, like when I'm on my trips or something. For example, this one, I made it away. Pretty good, this one, I like it. I can wear it anywhere and anytime. No, now it's getting a little chill here. And I have people were asking me for this one, like, they were crazy, like, they love this one. So actually, this one, I got a pattern from... Uh, for a video on YouTube, but this one is a uh, it's a really big um, full sleeve. It's a little easy to work until you get to here when you wanna give it like a like a square shape. It's a little hard to work here at the bottom, but I don't know how I did it. I think I have it on my notebook, but it was a little hard to make this one. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I can see my mistakes because I made it. If you see it from far away, you, you can see it. This is how you look on the back. It's, it's pretty good though, too many people like this. And if you want this powder, please text me or DM me on my Facebook, Instagram, and I will try to to send you like similar as this one. I make this one I wait to when I went to, to see some family in the States. I make this one. This one is pretty cozy though. I haven't post any photos of this one and this is more like winter I think I don't know if I will wear it just like this I don't know it's pretty cozy though like like the stitches are pretty tight it's just double crochet as all of all of my clothing and maybe just to to wear it at home I think I will find if I wear it outside it's a little chilly I think maybe if I have a um, Another shirt underneath, another wavy sweater. This was my first wavy sweater, and then I did the other one. I think this is one of my favorite sweaters. I really like the color, and it's pretty easy to make this one. It took me like less than a week to make this one. This sweater is less heavy than the other one. I don't know why. Maybe it's the type of yarn, but I really like this one. Even the fit is more, I like it. The other one for me is a little me. It's not bad though, but I like this one better, even even how it fit here at the bottom with the trim. I like this one. This one is cotton and I mix it with uh, felt. That is the name of, of the other yarn. And it's just four pieces, one, two, and then two squares on the sleeve. I really like this one too. I wear this one to go to for a coffee or something. But now that it's getting chilly, so it's pretty, pretty. Pretty good, pretty perfect thing for now for the weather. You, <coughs> the felt, it's really felty. You, I don't know if you can tell that. This is the thing. I have one of my favorites, I think. I just made this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I, I post some photos. This one is the same size as my crop top. And then I just add these overalls. Uh, I don't know what you call these ones. With the strap over here. I wasn't sure when I was mixing the colors, even the shape that, that I was giving them, it's just like, mm, I don't know, I wasn't sure, but I think it turned out pretty good. So this is two pieces, one and two, and then from the back I just attach the, the strap, and just, I bought this one, so I'm pretty easy. I made this at the same time when I made the other, when I made this one, you can tell that it's the same, <laughs> the same color. I think even this chart is the same color, I think, but I just, I put it in different order though. You know, it's even more more fancy. <laughs> it's one of my favorite sweaters. Uh, this is hexagonal cardigan, so it's, this one is two pieces, just one and two. Uh, this one is a little easy to work, but then, then the sleeve is just like this short, so you just gotta add more rows, so it make it longer. And then I just add the trim on the front and then the neckline. Even that it has some holes because of stitches, it's pretty warm though. You just need to wear something underneath and it will keep you warm. It's 
pretty pretty warm, pretty cozy. And I think this is all my my crochet wardrobe. I'm working in two more. This one is gonna be like this one, but I wanna make it shorter, more like a crop top. Uh, more like this, but I will show you later. <laughs> So this is the end of the video and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Lupe with Love. And if you have any question about any of this, if you want the pattern, you can text me and I will try to to find it for you. Uh, mostly there are like granny squares, so it's pretty easy. You just need to figure it out your size and then how you you wanna make it. And besides that, so I hope you like the video and bye!